All right, so it's been a, a week. Actually, today is Sunday. And I'm eating breakfast right now. And I wanted to do this podcast yesterday, but my, my like, procrastination made it so that I didn't do it yesterday. So, I'm just going to be... You, you could call this a podcast... But it's really, but it's really not because it's like you see in my face, so whatever. But what happened during this week? This is gonna be the first of like many I'm gonna do, and I want to get to the point to where I do two a week, and two is the most I can do a week, man, because I I have a pretty boring life. Nothing really happens in my life, but like I could just talk about stuff that happened in the world. And stuff like that. But it got to be stuff that I care about, man. Because there's a lot of stuff that happens that I just don't care about. So, <clears throat> alright. Beginning of last week. Because this is a new week. Today is Sunday. Beginning of last week. It was uh, pretty chill. Nothing really happened in my, um, in my time. Sunday was cool. Uh, I'm going to be eating breakfast, man, because I'm hungry, and this is looking good. I got some waffles, some hash browns, some sausage, the patty sausage and the regular sausage, some eggs. Oh, it's looking great. And it's blueberry waffles. It's like these small blueberry waffles with, uh, I put some strawberry jelly on the top. It's going to be great, man. Mmm. Ain't it doing good? <laughs> it's good. Uh-uh. I want thing. I did want each podcast to be at least an hour. But I'm not sure I'm going to have something to talk about for an hour. So I'm going to just talk till I run out. So like Sunday or last week. Nothing happened. Like, I was trying to catch up on all the new anime that was coming out. And so, that's what I was trying to do. And I still ain't caught up. Because of work. Then, after work, when I get home, I work from 9 to 3 o'clock. nine in the morning three o'clock in the afternoon and when I get home I take my clothes take my work clothes off and all of that then I go upstairs get something to eat and I just chill out for about a good I detox from work for about a good 10 to maybe 20 minutes then I can breathe and I'm like okay I'm finally home and stuff then like, I try to catch up on all the anime that came out that I already was watching, not the new anime. So then, <clears throat> I'm watching that anime. Then, I see it's a new anime that already that came out and stuff. All right, hmm. Let me try watching this now. And, I watched some of it. Some of it's good. And some of it's like, it's like weird, man, because some of it is like, it's like the first half of it, I'll be really good. Then the second half, I just go into a weird direction that you're like, oh, what's going on? And a lot of anime is doing that. I really don't like that. Because they need to stay where they are. And how they started off. But they don't. I saw this um, anime called Blood Ivers. I like that. But I don't really know which direction. 
it's gonna go. I don't know which um, direction the anime is gonna go, but I do like that anime. Then I watch some anime about like wrestling, like um, Tiger Mask or something like that. That looks. I'm be honest. It looks all right, but I'm not really into wrestling no more. Talk to middle school me. Middle school me would have loved this anime. <laughs> Back when everybody was watching Naruto and stuff. Middle school me would have loved it, but I'm just like, eh. Because it's like, I'm not really into wrestling, but it's, I don't think it's bad. I saw the first episode. Then, I don't know why I do this. Like, it'd be some anime that was like new that I still haven't watched till right now and I clicked on it and started watching like the first two minutes I haven't finished it because once I clicked on it and started watching it I paused it went and did something that came back to my computer and then started watching like some on YouTube and not anime and then I never watched it like <laughs> never finished it but I want to get to that point <clears throat> to where I do finish it and hopefully I will finish it but right now I'm just I'm just chilling and those anime came out and again if this freaking podcast you think is boring man you ain't gotta listen to it I just wanna do it just do it I'm trying to get back into making videos and stuff so I figured this would be kind of the best way to make videos because now I'm starting to like have the feeling that that reviewing stuff is getting really old like reviewing every single episode every single chapter that's out there I can't do it it's, 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 it's getting whack man it's getting played out and some people still do it because some people still watch those videos. Every chapter and every single episode of every Iron Man. Like, mm -mm. I'm going to have to start doing what for never where I'll start doing, man. He stopped reviewing every chapter and every episode because he, he felt like how I'm feeling. And he only reviewing. <clears throat> all the exciting amazing episodes of like new anime and anime that's still going on <clears throat> and all the exciting amazing chapters of of manga and stuff of new manga and um, manga that's still going on that people are reading and that's what I'm doing well now I'm doing that but to be honest I've been doing that for a while it's just that now I'm now, mm, excuse me, <laughs> sausage on the toe. <clears throat> That's why I say don't talk and eat. Alright, but now, I'm just telling y'all that. So, yeah. And I think I'm gonna like it because now there are some anime out there that I am gonna review like almost every chapter for. And one is freaking World Trigger. World Trigger chapter came out last night and that jumped was so good man <laughs> if you don't read World Trigger I recommend you do don't listen to other people when they say it's whack man <clears throat> read it for yourself and if you think it's whack hey I can respect that but I can't respect that if you going off somebody else's word you going off of another man's word? I can't respect that man because you haven't checked it out yourself. 
It was just like me and Bleach a, a long time ago. For a long time, I never watched Bleach and I never read it. Because somebody told me it was whack, it was stupid and all that. And plus, I won't really end the um really too deep in the anime like that. <clears throat> I was mainly just watching Naruto and just being a Naruto turd and stuff. Just being stupid. <clears throat> so then I started reading watching Bleach first because it used to come on Toonami and stuff and stuff like that. Then I was like, man, this is all right. Let me, let, you know, let me get into the little manga and stuff a little bit. Got into it, and then like I think like when the bounce stuff came out, I stopped like watching Bleach and um, reading and stuff because my friend told me. See, I thought I thought that art was real. I thought it was canon. Then my friend told me it was fake. It wasn't canon. I was like, man, I can't, I can't even read it no more. Because that was just crap. So, all in all, man, I recommend you check out World Trigger, man. It's freaking good. Like, it is really good. I said this last night, reading, like, the chapter of World Trigger. I was like, how can anybody that re actually reads World Trigger for themselves, looks at it and goes, okay, let me read this anime and stuff to see if I like it. Say it's bad. How can anybody do that? That don't even make no sense, man. Because in the first 40 episodes of the anime, well, the first 40 episodes of the anime, and, like, I think the first, like, maybe, like, a hundred and some chapters. Actually, nah. Actually, yeah, like, a hundred some chapters. No. Uh-uh. It's, like, it might be, like, 30 yeah, 20 something to 30 chapters, you get introduced to the story and the characters, and then you have a war. Like, come on now. It's freaking so good, man. People can say, oh, that's really fast paced. But it's actually not. Like, it's not fast paced at all. Because it takes 40 episodes in order for you to get to the war. Excuse me. And then. When you get in there, it's explaining what's going on and everything and all of that. And it has great pacing too, man. That's what I love about it. Like, World Trigger has amazing pacing. I don't think I've ever seen another anime or read another freaking manga that has this much of good pacing and granted I haven't seen a lot of anime or freaking read a lot of freaking manga in order to say that but I'll say it anyway and I mean a lot I mean like in my lifetime I probably only seen about close to maybe Close to, I'm, I'm telling you, ever since I started watching anime when I was in freaking, um, when I was in high school and stuff, that's when I started watching anime. I, uh, at the end of ninth grade, uh, my high school year. I know. Uh, been out of high school now for five years, but whatever. Oh, uh, nah. Uh uh. Been out of high school for four years now. And I've only seen about, I, I'll say maybe like close to maybe uh, probably close to maybe like a hundred and a hundred 
a hundred uh, uh, like different anime with their own like titles and stuff. Not the same one rehashed and stuff. I'm saying about a hundred people who've seen a lot seen about three hundred to something. That's people who've seen a lot. So it's like, I can't really say, oh yeah, it's the best, but I am saying it's the best. So, that was Sunday. <laughs> I'm trying to bring it all around, man, because I'm just rambling now. Alright, so. <clears throat> Tuesday no Monday or last week it, I went to work <clears throat> chill day at work until I went on break now I'm going to give y'all some backstory of this Me, I work at a grocery store and I stock frozen food and stuff. So my hands stay cold all the time. I stay cold all the time, no matter how how cold or how hot it is outside. That's how come in the summertime, I was wearing a coat and everybody else was wearing a tank top with shorts on. And they was looking at me like, why do you got a coat on? But I was cold even though it was 90 some degrees outside. Ah, so then, so, <clears throat> I'm supposed to go, I'm supposed to go to lunch break, like, I'm supposed to take a break, like, every, every two hours for 15 minutes, which I think is crap. There's so much crap, I don't even know what to say, man, but I can't do anything about it. I'm just I'm at a place to where I can say something about it and be ready to leave that freaking job. But right now I can't leave it. But I still need it. So I've been doing this for a while though. I've been taking a break. But like I work <clears throat> like all day from nine o'clock to probably like around one o'clock to one thirty and then I take a thirty minute break instead of taking a fifteen minute break every two hours. But then Monday of last week I was like, man, let me go to the library and stuff. Cause <clears throat> we don't got Wi Fi at our freaking job and my phone don't work. So I'm like, dang, man, I need to get on the internet. So I'll go to the library, and the library is literally, like, up the street. Go outside your house and look at the end of the street. That's where the library is. That's how close it is to the freaking grocery store that I work at. So I go to the freaking library, and I was only planning on staying in there for, like, <clears throat> I'm telling you, like 20 some minutes 20 some minutes to like 30 minutes because that's my routine and stuff and that's when I freaking <clears throat> and that's when um nah I was about to say that's when I watched the freaking Naruto episodes but it wasn't like Naruto versus Sasuke it wasn't and then I go in there you know stay in there for a little bit I sit down in my own little chair and stuff comfortable chair laying back I have my phone like this start watching like uh, YouTube videos and stuff and then I feel myself falling asleep <clears throat> so I'm like dang I gotta stay awake all right I'm trying to go back to work and stuff so have you ever had like where <clears throat> you be trying to stay awake for something but 
The next thing you know, you wake up and you like, what the heck? That's what happened to me. I was in the library being completely conscious. The next thing I know, I feel myself dreaming. Like it's, it's like a, it's like a point to where when before you wake up, you feel yourself dreaming, and then you wake up. That's what happened to me. Eat whether you see like black or whatever, or you see some type of weird dream. That's what happened to me, man. And then I wake up. I'm like, oh snap, nigga, what time is it? I looked at my phone. I went in the library at 2 o'clock, right? Was going to get out at like 2, 28, 2.30. Looked at my phone. It was 2.50, no, 2.46. And I was like, oh, man, I slept for almost 30 minutes. What the heck? Like 20-something minutes or something like that. <clears throat> like, damn, man, why did I fall asleep? Because the air was hitting me right. It was warm. And that current of air was hitting me at right at the right place. Like at the right temperature, man. That made it that made me just fall asleep. I woke up. <clears throat> I was like, dang, man, I hope them niggas don't say nothing when I get back to work. So got back to work. And it was this girl outside that I know. And one of our managers is oh cool. She was talking to him. And then I heard her say my name, and then I stopped because uh, I was walking past them going into work. And then I stopped. I was like, "Huh?" And then she looked me in my face and said, "Oh no, I won't talk about you." And then I just kept walking. I was like, "All right," because I clearly heard her say my name, but she said my name about some, and she wasn't expecting to see me right then. That's how come she said that. So then, <clears throat> I walk into work, I put in my normal stuff, check in <clears throat> from lunch break, and mind you, I get off at 3 o'clock, but now when I get back to freaking work, I rush out of the library and drive back to work, it's freaking like 2.54, so I'm like, dang, so then my head manager come to me and like, hey, Dan, where you been? And then I told him where I was and stuff and stuff like that. And I got in trouble for it. Nothing happened to me except now I'm on watch. <clears throat> because it was a dude that used to always go leave work doing what I was doing. And stand um, on his lunch break for an hour when he really wasn't supposed to. And he got fired for that. And he got fired for stealing like some stuff. But it really was because he stole some stuff because, nigga, I could have got fired right then. And they didn't. They just warned me. Like, for real. And then, like, my manager, Cheryl, <clears throat> came over to me. And I hate Cheryl. Like, I really don't like her. Because she's just an asshole for no reason. She's just one of those people that's just a dick. For no freaking reason. And then when she feel like talking about talking about something, she wanna talk to you after she been a dick to you. And it's like, what? Can you get out of my face? I don't wanna talk to you. I don't wanna speak to you ever. Like, get out of my face. <clears throat> then she wanna come over there and just talk to you for a long freaking time and then she get mad that you don't wanna talk back to her. Like, what? So then, oh yeah, I finished my breakfast. That's almost good. Like, it was really good, man. My mom cooked it or whatever. So then she came over to me. Said, hey. Hey. Where you been? Look, 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 look. <clears throat> and then I'm like, oh, my God. And then I told her, hey. He already talked to me, so you ain't got to talk to me. And then. <clears throat> then that's when she just looked at me like. And then just walked off. All pissed and stuff. But. When I came back, I couldn't get off at 3 o'clock because I stayed for a freaking hour at the library. So my mother was just like, look, stay till 4 o'clock. That's what you're going to do. And then went over to freaking Cheryl and stuff and then started and told her, hey, we're going to now monitor 
his time being on break and stuff. And I was like, oh my God. Now I got to deal with this. <sighs> so I stayed until 4 o'clock. And tell you the truth, staying another hour actually went by pretty freaking fast. I thought it was going to take an eternity. Like, I like I go over there start working. And I feel like I've been working for 30 minutes. And only 10 minutes passed. Like, I thought it was going to take that long. But no. It actually went by pretty fast. <clears throat> Faster than I thought. I say that. <clears throat> and then I came freaking home. Then got off work, came home. And then the whole time I was just thinking like, oh, God. Now I got these people angry at me about what I did and stuff. And oh, my God. So then <clears throat> Tuesday come. Next day. And I have Tuesday off. So I, I'm just chilling at the house the whole day. And nothing really happens. And Wednesday come. I go back to work. <clears throat> and my man was just talking to me like, hey, you know, like, you know, the break thing, you know, we take care of that, and blah, 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 and I work at Frozen, and it's right beside each other. And it was Thursday, and she told me one thing before she left. And then she, after she told me that, she was gone. I was like, yes. Thursday came, normal day, nothing, nothing happened and stuff. Friday came. Uh, Friday was chill, like for real. It was just a good vibe the whole day, like for real. And then. Saturday, yesterday, I was just, I was just chilling a lot. I wanted to see, like, Friday, <clears throat> I wanted to see Birth of a Nation Friday, but, but, I messed up, because I should have went to the bank and got some money out, so I can see Birth of a Nation Friday, but I kind of forgot about it. <clears throat> until yesterday and then i was like dang now i ain't got no money uh, i got some money in my savings but i don't really want to use that money but i want to i need to see this freaking movie so then i was i was just panicking and stuff like oh my god i, I have to see this movie but then i remember that on tuesdays at my premiere at the premiere i go through go to the theater it's five dollar movies like all day i'm like i don't even work tuesday i could go to the movies on tuesday and stuff like yes five dollar movies when the movies really be like <clears throat> you go see a movie like freaking captain america and stuff i remember i had to pay like ten dollars to see that movie and i was like what in the world paying ten dollars to go see this movie when this movie is gonna easily make over a billion dollars like, oh my god, that don't, that don't have me, like, man, what the heck, because I didn't really want to see a movie for $10, but it was Captain America Civil War, and Black Panther was showing up in that movie, and a whole bunch of stuff was going down, Spider-Man was showing up in that movie, so I was just like, ah, let me just go ahead and pay this, man, Ugh. you know I want some popcorn, too, then, I freaking paid for the movie, paid for that high tail popcorn that cost seven dollars. For for do you know it cost seven dollars for a bag of popcorn? It's like oh uh, it's like it's like this big. And it's like oh uh, it's not it's not this big. It's like yeah, it's like it's about that big and about uh yeah about about that round and stuff. Yeah, about that, about that round. And even though they they fill it up to the brim to where every corner of that freaking bag has some popcorn in it, I still don't want to pay seven dollars for that junk, man. Like, come on. <clears throat> so then, <clears throat> what am I even talking about? Oh yeah, freaking movies and stuff. That, that, that just made me like think of like, dang, like that's that's some old booty butt cheeks and stuff. It's like, like, 
yeah, I want to see that movie. So now I'm just going to wait till Tuesday. I'm going to go to the bank tomorrow because the bank closed today. It's uh, weekend. And then Tuesday, I'm going to go see the movie. And then I'm going to love it too, man. It's going to be crazy. I know it's going to be crazy. And I'm going to learn a lot because I've been watching... I've been watching people talk about like non-spoiler reviews, but then I clicked on this like this this dude that was talking about it, and he started telling the movie, and I was like, "What the heck, man?" Then I, I he started before I realized it, he said probably the first twenty minutes of the movie. That's before I realized, it. and I was like, "Dang!" And then I then I was watching like a whole bunch of like supposed like black conscious people talk about the movie and stuff and then talk about his freaking talk about Nat Turner's like life and what really happened and stuff and how good the movie was everybody rated the movie like a 9 or a 10 but they was kind of like some people was like that rated it and I was like I can't really give it a 10 because they didn't show like the real thing of what was going on or they missed the part in this one it's like some of the nitpicky stuff it's nitpicky stuff but it, it, it means something. Like, when they... It was one dude that was saying, like, I can't give it a 10 because they didn't explain, like, the Haiti stuff. And then he went into stuff about some some, some African stuff and, like, Haiti and stuff. And it made sense. But I was like, it's kind of nitpicky, man. I don't know if you really want to, like, put that up or whatever. But that's that's, nit, that's nitpicky to me. I, I'm not really feeling that. <clears throat> but everybody else was like, oh, yeah, I just want... Oh, I was just watching um freaking um Teen Titans Go. It's on right now. And then like uh Cyborg is like a real person and stuff. This is old um Yeah. And then Yeah, this is a good episode. And then saying that song with um Real boy! And then Batman over there playing guitar. Man, that was just a commercial. Man, that wasn't even an episode. That was like one of those little commercial episodes, clips they be playing on Cartoon Network and stuff. But yeah, um, now that show Magic Swords is on. Do y'all think that show was actually good, man? Because I watched the first episode and I was like, hmm. Like, I was just like, mm, I'm not sure if it's bad, but I don't know if it's good. Like, for real, it's, a, it's, it's in that weird place of, like, it ain't good, but it's not bad. Because it's like, it's 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 different show, it's a new show, but it's not good. Like... But it ain't bad. I don't know how to really explain it, man. <clears throat> like, I don't have an urge to watch that show. I do not have an urge to watch that show like how I have an urge to watch Steven Universe. Like, every time I flip through, every time I use this and flip through the channels, and then I see Steven Universe is on, whether it's like a rerun of an episode, which they do that all the time, I watch it. Like, <laughs> and I've seen that episode so many times. <clears throat> But it's just still freaking good. And I feel it's just still freaking good, man. And that's where shows need to be. It needs to be like as good as Steven Universe and stuff. Because Steven still make jokes and stuff like that. But it, and it has good, good action and good story. But I'm not sure about this show, Mighty, Mighty Magic Swords, man. Like, it just seemed like a... a, a an idea that somebody had that's an original good idea but it's not really that good of a show I don't know it's, it's kind of weird to explain <clears throat> speaking of freaking shows nigga do y'all know that Walking Dead coming back and I'm ready for it I'm so ready for Walking Dead to come back I don't even know what to do man like and I've been, I've recently, before I even got my breakfast, I watched um, some people talk about the new promo they put out for the uh, new season when Negan dragged freaking Rick into the RV and stuff, stuff like that. 
I watch some people talk about that, and everybody keeps saying that Glenn and Daryl is dead. And I keep trying to tell people that, okay, it's like, all right, look, look at my hands and look at my face. Nah, look at my hands and look at my nose. Yeah, my face. My face is where Rick was, and my hands, like, this side is where freaking, like, Daryl, Abraham, Glenn, Maggie, uh, Rosita, freaking um, Michonne was. And over here is Carl, Carl, Sasha, um, that dude, I think his name is Daniel, freaking, uh, dang, what's my man's name? He always be with Abraham. And, uh, how am I forgetting his name? But yeah, him. Y'all know what I'm talking about. The dude that got the recipe to, for bullets and gave it to freaking Rick. Over and and Rick on, on his face, on this side of his face, is blood. If it would have been, if it would have been blood, like all over his face, on each side, then you would have known. Okay, now we don't even we don't even know who in the world did get killed because of blood on both sides of his face. But since they put blood right here on the side of his face, I already figured out who he killed. I've been figured it out because I watched this video of like when the um when season six just ended and like people trying to figure out who the heck did need to kill and stuff. And I watched this I watched a ton of videos that that said Daryl and Glenn got killed. And spoiler, they said that for the reason of because Glenn got killed in the comics. And people just think Daryl it would be the one to be killed and stuff. Even though he didn't get killed in the comments, they just think like he 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 he's on his way out. So then that made a whole bunch of sense until somebody was like, I don't believe that's what happened. I think they're gonna go a different route and they're gonna kill Abraham. And I was like, huh? And he explained I, he explained like it was two guys. They explained a whole bunch of like. Looking at the trees and the background and the RV and the way he needs to stand in and the way he gestured and stuff like that. They was they broke it down. So and then that convinced me and I was like, okay, Abraham gonna die. But then like throughout the months, up until like now, I was kinda like, I don't really know, man. It might kill Glenn. They might kill freaking Daryl, it might kill Abraham, I don't really know. Until now was confirmed. That is freaking Abraham. Let me tell you how it's confirmed. Because of the blood that's on uh, Rick's face. It's confirmed by that, man. Because if the blood, if there would have been no blood on Rick's face, then it would have probably been Daryl and Glenn. But there was blood on Rick's face. So that lets you know it was somebody that was close to freaking, freaking, um, to freaking, uh, <clears throat> dang, to freaking Rick. In order for that blood to be on his face. So. So since it was close to somebody that was Rick. And Abraham was right beside Rick. In between. Uh, Abraham was beside Maggie. Maggie was beside Rick. Like immediately. So it's freaking. It's freaking um, Abraham man. It's freaking him. It got to be him man. There's nobody else. Because Glenn and freaking Daryl was way too down too far down the line in order for Negan to hit them with the bat and then Rick get some blood on his face we all the way that way like are you kidding me come on now don't even don't even say that like don't even be like that so I know it's freaking Abraham and nobody else and you can't tell me otherwise mm. like for real so I'm just ready to see this see this season and stuff and <clears throat> I'm just ready for it, man. Like for real. Um. Oh yeah. Uh, hold on, man. I gotta go to the bathroom. I've been holding this pee for about four minutes, trying to trying to talk to y'all, get everything out. But it's more stuff that I want to talk about. So just just hold on. <clears throat>
Alright, people, I'm back. <clears throat> I forgot. I went to the bathroom and then got me something to drink. <laughs> so, ain't that weird, man? Like, people do weird, like, little random weird things like that. It's like you just went to the bathroom because you drunk too much or something. But now you drinking something else, so you're going to go to the bathroom anyways. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah. Alright, while I was in the bathroom and get something to drink, I was thinking about freaking One Piece, man. This latest chapter of One Piece. Now, let me tell y'all something. I have been enjoying. <clears throat> I'm going to say enjoying because I really haven't been loving. I can't say I've been loving like the uh, One Piece chapters other than like when Cracker showed up. When Cracker showed up and everything like turned up, man, to the next level and stuff. And I'm going to talk about Cracker and, and Luffy and stuff. So I haven't really been like, oh my god, this is amazing One Piece stuff. Like freaking One Piece Tards out there, dude. Like the freaking Naruto Tards. <clears throat> I'm just comparing them to Naruto Tards, man. Because when, when you get to like a specific thing and you have fans about it, you're going to get people that's going to like it no matter how terrible it is or how bad it is. Like... There's going to be people that's like that. And the freaking Naruto Tards was the first of its kind in this community. In the YouTube community. Because I'm sure it was some other people that was like probably like, <clears throat> like Yu Yu Hakusho fans or Verona Kitchen fans or uh, any of those early anime and stuff like that, that. That people was just like, oh, it can do no wrong. Yet it's doing wrong and people still love it and saying it's the greatest or whatever. But those Naruto Tars was the first in this anime community to be like that. Then One Piece came. And <clears throat> what I'm not liking, like, I really like the whole thing. Like how San Sanji's backstory is really good to me. I find it interesting. And his family and stuff, what's going on. Like the whole Nazi thing, where they're like supposed Nazis or whatever. And... What's going on with Sanji and all the stuff we found out about all those soldiers that's on the island are supposedly these genetic created like people like Sanji. Sanji's this genetic created thing that like experiment that there's not really a genetic experiment but it like failed and stuff and freaking and freaking um his brothers and things like that and his sisters are like genetic experiments that succeeded. All of that stuff is great. I'm, I'm liking all of that. But then with the Luffy and Cracker fight, when it started, freaking awesome. Loving it. Finding new stuff about Cracker. Um, talking about going back and forth with people in the community about his freaking hockey and how strong he really is compared to everybody else. And where Luffy stands and stuff like that now. And... And... <clears throat> seeing him fight Luffy and Luffy um, having a hard time actually beating his freaking soldier armor having a tough time doing beating that thing and having to go gear forth in order to beat it is crazy but that being said I got to talk about this because nobody else is going to talk about it if they real they'll talk about it but nobody else is going to talk about it. Everybody's just going to keep being like, Oh, well, you know, this is what Oda do. And blah, 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 Yeah. Suck Oda off, man. Straight up, take it down the throat, cuff the balls, all of that. That's what you do. You idiot. When this last chapter, when Luffy defeated Cracker, along with Nami, mind you. I I seriously was like, cause I've said this before, but I've never been like truly serious as I am now, because it's just got to that point. But I really said in my head like, I'm about to drop One Piece. Like I'm seriously about to drop One Piece, because if they freaking do some stupid crap like this again, to where, <clears throat> to where, Luffy's fighting a strong tail freaking opponent that we think he cannot beat. But yet, but yet, this nigga somehow figures out a way to beat him. On some bullcrap too. Like freaking, um, dang, 
what was it? Uh, nah, it was a Do Flamingo that was like that. Nah, that was that was pretty um, strange. Um, Caesar, no. Uh, oh yeah, Horty Jones. That was some crap. Like I could think of Horty, Horty Jones and Cracker got defeated by Luffy in the most stupidest way. And I can explain Horty Jones after I uh, finish explaining Cracker. But freaking <clears throat> Cracker cut Luffy's freaking um, hockey arm with his sword, with his sword and his hockey in, embedded in the sword. Freaking Doflamingo couldn't cut Luffy with his strings at all. Couldn't even harm Luffy really. So then it's like, yeah. So then it's like, bro, this nigga is this freaking strong, taking on Luffy with his freaking armor, with his armored soldiers made out of biscuits that just has his hockey within them, and he he can create an infinite amount of them, and then. Freaking Luffy is having a hard time fighting these things, going get forth, and still having a hard time. And it's like, this nigga freaking, like, now we know this nigga is really freaking strong. I'm like, okay, this dude's really strong. Luffy shouldn't be able to beat this guy. But then in this previous chapter, we see that Luffy has been eating his freaking biscuit soldiers the whole time. That's how come he's that big. And then he still gear forth up. So then, Cracker goes to attack him, and Luffy, I, I, I can't even remember whether Cracker, uh, hold on, let me, let me look at it, because I got to explain this right, man, because this pissed me off, it pissed me off so much, because I was so mad at it, because I'm trying to think of whether did Cracker attack Luffy and just bounce off, or did Luffy attack Cracker, and then Cracker freaking, like, blew away like I don't even know I can't remember oh, let me see yeah Cracker attacked Luffy with his sword and then Luffy like inhaled it in his stomach yeah inhaled it in his stomach and then the sword twisted around in his stomach and Luffy shot Cracker out and shot Cracker past his freaking um <clears throat> cracker hit his biscuit soldiers and destroyed those and got shot into the distance and his face looked like he's defeated and stuff and it's just like what like for real like I'm looking at it right here like for some reason my freaking webcam doesn't focus but I'm looking at it on my phone man <clears throat> I'm just like huh like what's going on like this dude is freaking defeating these people like defeating these strong people with like some crap like oh I was like Oda you know you on some BS right you know this is BS right like Oda you know it's some BS right this is straight crap man like <clears throat> mm. I was so mad at it man cause I'm like Oda did it to us again they did it to us again and then people go go around the community and explain it. Well, Luffy, well, we really don't know the true extent of Gear 4 because no Flamingo and ra, 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 ra. Whatever, man. I don't even care about that. All I'm saying is the way Luffy defeated Cracker was some crap to where it made me want to drop the whole series for real this time and only come back when something truly hype is going on. And that makes sense. Like, for real, man. Because that's just... What the heck, man? Like, for real, what the heck? Like, oh my god. Alright, so the Horty Jones thing. The reason why I said it's some crap, because even though Luffy and them did train um, for two years to get where they were, to get where they are now, freaking Fishman, let me tell you something. I had to finish that. But freaking fishman, a regular fishman, just a regular average Joe Blow fishman, is supposed to be 10 times stronger than the regular average Joe Blow human. That is what Oda said in this freaking series. So going by with that logic and by what freaking Oda said, seeing the fishman 
that are not average fret fishermen that can actually fight that's actually really strong get defeated like this it's freaking stupid and see them actually take steroid pills to boost their strength is even more ridiculous I don't even know what to say that's even so so much more stupid that it's like what in the blue blazing is going on because Horny Jones, when he was fighting Luffy, grabbed a handful of those steroid pills and chomped them all down. Mind you, he's already 10 times stronger than any uh, person. And he just grabbed a handful of freaking steroid pills and chomped them all down. And how many times stronger is he, is he than any person? But then Luffy just one shot his ass like it's nothing. Like, like it's nothing. Like, that was a debauchery. I'm going to use what King of Lightning said. That was a debauchery. That was straight up crap, man. And you go back and watch it and look at the thing and stop being a freaking tard. You actually see that it's crap. Just like how this previous chapter was crap. Like, whatever, man. That's what it is, man. Oda does this type of stuff. And then, what's getting me is that some people would be like, when Luffy was fighting freaking uh, Horty or when he was fighting Caesar, people was like, why didn't Luffy go gear forth and stuff like that? Well, when they go back and look at it and then reminisce and then make uh, videos about it. And I go, it's simple, you dunce. It's because Oda didn't think of gear forth at that time. He didn't have gear forth in his mind at that time. Oda, Doflamingo, uh, for Oda, is just like Madara for Kishimoto. And you remember when Kishimoto had Madara come back in the war and then he became the sage and then he started stealing Renegon eyes and Sharingan eyes for freaking Kakashi or whatever. Then he got the Renegon eyes. Then he, then he started beating up everybody. Then freaking Hashirama couldn't even take down Madara no more. And he started doing all this stuff in the war and becoming a literal god. And Kishi was like in um in like Shonen Jump Weekly, he did a freaking uh interview and he was he was telling the interviewer, I've made Madara so strong that I have no idea how to defeat him. That's how come he had to bring in Kaguya. That's how come they had to do all this side stuff when Madara really should have been the Indian villain, they had to do all this side stuff. In order to defeat Madara because Kishi didn't know how to defeat him anymore. That's just like what Oda did with freaking Doflamingo. First he boosted up Doflamingo's power to where we thought this dude was incredible and all of that. He's superior. King Haki has this strong tail hockey to where Fujitora even is like nervous around the guy. And Law um, wants to defeat him but he really knows he can and he's just toying with Law. And all of that he's so freaking strong right. And then freaking Oda thought up Gear Forth in order to beat him. And even then, still couldn't, Luffy still couldn't by himself defeat Madara. Like he had to have help from somebody else. Not Madara, but freaking uh, Doflamingo. Like it's, it's just like that, man. Like, oh wow. Uh, it's just a lot of stuff, man. And I forgot why I was going with that because I just started rambling. When I, when I just go, when I just went, but seriously, man, it's just a bunch of crap, like, it's just a bunch of booty butt cheeks, and I really don't even really know what to say anymore, like, for real, like, oh my god. I need that. My mouth was dry, nigga. Then, I learned that stuff that's going on in my life for the past. Ooh, I'm almost at, a, at an hour. Okay. I didn't think I was going to be talking for this long, but hey, we here. Let's keep it going. Um. Oh, yeah, I watched Luke Cage. Oh, man. I wanted to talk about that. 
Alright. The whole series as a whole, I give it eight and a half to a nine. And I'll explain why I give it that. The series was great. It touched on freaking social issues. It 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 went through Luke Cage's backstory in a great way. The characters was really good. My man was getting every every single fine woman that you saw on screen, like liked him for some stupid reason or whatever. I don't even know. And I was like, damn, I want to be like that guy. And <clears throat> all the side characters and stuff that was going on was freaking amazing. It was really good. I loved it. And it was one little like black thing that he did that I really freaking loved. It was when he was in prison. <clears throat> And he was talking to his man that was sitting behind him and he was reading the magazine. And he was like, uh, dang, he was like, some some lady wanted him. I forgot the lady's name. And then, then 